All right, hey, what's up, chicken fuckers? Of course, we got Opex here, the legendary. So I have a two versus two game taking place on Turtle Rock. I have Baza or Baza and Opex versus Trail MC, Trial MC, something like that, and Elohim or Elohim or something. I don't know, when I think of Elohim, I think of like ELO, like the rating system, and hey, can you ELO him to make sure he's okay, player? I don't know. Alright, so I got me spawning down here. Uh, typical build up so far, I'm going to change the allies. Alright, so Baza, so it's two human versus undead and human. A lot of human in this match. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I have been working on my human, so this is my main race, and I'm trying to get more powerful and strong with it. Um, it might not be the strongest race out there, in my opinion. I believe Night Elf actually is. But if, you, if I can hold my own for a certain amount of time, and we make it to the later aspects of the game, mid to late game, I should come out ahead. My micro should prevail. Alright. So, no hero as of yet. I have an Archmage popping out. And a Mountain King for my ally. Versus an Archmage. And a Death Knight. All typical stuff here. Um, perhaps a uh, quick tech for Elohim. Looks like Scout right here for the enemy. Scout right here for me. And we can get this game under wraps. Alright. Typical, typical, typical stuff. Probably gonna creep out this creep camp extremely fast. Alright, so this uh, peasant's coming over here to my area. Might be able to spark a footman over here. Or at least this footman. More probably concentrated on hotkeys at this point. A player's are no militia, attack. just gonna creep it out with my footman. Oh, well, I grab my militia over here to take down that melon head. Um, perhaps it was decent timing. I might lose a lot of hit points on my units, but it's alright. It is what it is. We have enemy quickly creeping out his uh, corner camp. <laughs> Not trying to be all Call of Duty on you. Corner camping. Alright, so Death Knight was probably able to get a quick kill. Um, actually, probably not. Uh, it has a couple skellies out in play. Probably going to try to get up a, uh, a tower as soon as possible. And there it is, once I found out that he is coming in for that harass. Uh, a few footmen should be able to ward off that death knight for the most part, but a couple skeletal minions can go a long way. I'm surprised I didn't have that teching yet, or clicking, or whatever. Um, trying to fend this off a little bit. Of course it's only a few skellies, but uh, you still want to defend it. It's way more crucial to defend than to lose one peasant. In my opinion, uh, what's more important to you, level 2 or uh, making sure you don't lose things and handing experience over to your enemy? Um, that's up to you. Um, I'm no pro, and I do see like people like Yumiko and Hawk and stuff. They'll creep right in front of that death knight. And me, not so much. Um, me, I just want to do a lot of damage to that death knight. If I had a mountain king, I, I wouldn't be scared at all. But because I have an archmage and uh, I'm not going to be able to bolt and surround, um, that death knight becomes a little bit more threatening. Uh, Ally does have that possibility for bolt and surround. That's why the death knight's trying to, you know, focus on me a little more than that mountain king. Uh, all right, so it looks like uh, my ally finally teamed up with me, and perhaps trying to go around for that bolt surround I was talking about. But it looks like uh, looks like he isn't gonna get it off. 
Archmage backing off a little bit, trying to get in better positioning. Bolt finally goes down. Uh, I was wondering what was taking him so long to get a bolt down. Alright, so Orange is over here. It looks like he's going to go do something now. Um... Red's going to try to do this creep camp, but we're right in front of him, so we see him. Uh, the only real difference in this match is that that Archmage is a little stronger. Um, the bolt attempt didn't quite work. Um, this bolt should be a lot better to get a nice, decent surround. Uh, you should be able to kill it. Not too much of a problem. Uh, now we should be able to creep this out rather easily without any type of uh, enemies. Uh, Elohim is going to try to get level 2 off this creep camp, get that uh, Watcher Ward, and he's going to get a decent item, which is going to be the Ring of Regeneration. Rather good on Death Knight, and uh, a lot of people say, no, not for a Strength Hero, blah, blah, blah. No, that's great for a Death Knight. Um, you're, you're constantly regenerating, constantly being the, the hero of focus to the enemy. Um, right now, the hero of focus should be the Archmage. Uh, Bolt, something of that nature, and then with our unit compilation, you know, just the amount of units we have, we should be able to surround no problem. Um, Death Knight just taking down my creep camps. Knowing that I'm away from base. So, rather good strategy going down uh, for Elohim and the enemy team. Uh, Archmage level 2, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm only level 2, and I ended up killing my own footman right there. I don't know if you saw that. Killed my own footman to prevent any type of experience for the Archmage, and of course he did not get any experience because I denied it. Alright, coming back over here. Uh, Mountain King level 3 means business. Probably trying to get my ally to creep with me so we can get rather strong. Looks like I'm going Arcane and Dual Arcane Sanctums. Training up some more uh, peasants. Level 3 in the Death Knight, that sparks a little bit of uh, trouble, to say the least. A little bit of creep jack, but it's okay because we are we are here now, and uh, we took down all the creeps. Um, there really isn't much going for our enemy right now, other than uh, the undead, just getting strong and stealing items or getting items, obtaining. Um, might, I almost thought he was going to lose that lich with my type of lag and my type of luck. Uh, there would have been a huge lag spike right about the time you should coil. What item do we get? Crystal Ball. So that's actually rather unlucky. Uh, you have minor forms of uh, map hack, which is, you know, every like 60 seconds you can be, uh, reveal a portion of the map. I'd rather sell it, or at least view a couple spots and then sell it. You know, make sure that you can find out where the enemy is. Like, look at a green... or. Uh, Expansion point for a red creep camp. Uh, Sorceress is now out for Bazaar. And it looks like Priest's out for me. And Spellbreaker's out. So it looks like we both ended up doing like the big uh, dual Arcane Sanctums. Actually, my ally only has one Arcane Sanctum. Going for Rifleman at this point. Uh, rather smart. I was hoping he was doing uh, more Rifleman than all the other units, but it, it is what it is. Now that we have two Paladins in play, uh, we should be able to keep all, all our units alive. For the most part, until that Lich and the Death Knight gets any stronger. Level 2 on that Lich is rather powerful, uh, especially that he might get level 3 off this creep camp. Uh, trying to trying to come through and get a nice gink. Uh, bolt going down on the wrong fiend. If you focus that low hit point fiend, it definitely would have went down. 
Uh, human player doing about the same thing. To go in the breakers uh, priest route, trying to get powerful himself. He's not far from level three, but he just got level two on his mountain king. Um, probably don't see the pinging. We're probably pinging like crazy. Uh, I can definitely say at this point the Death Knight and the uh, Lich for Elohim has been doing a great job just creeping away, not getting really injured, and uh, should have that Orb of Corruption. So this Undead is actually rather powerful with his low unit count, but it's still a very powerful compilation. Um, looks like I'm going off squaring off against uh, Red here. Who's a little bit do or die, I would say. Uh, level 2 on my Paladin. Uh, should back off a little bit or else I'm going to get ganked pretty hard. Um, and that looks like what's going to happen. Now with the gank on the bottom from you him, uh, this is going to be spelling a lot of trouble. Paladin needs to back off here. Oh, that stun just lasted a lifetime. Destroyer's now up, destroying the water elementals. Just making them that much more powerful. Uh, Rifleman out, and uh, Archmage in good position now, but that Paladin was just in such a bad position. Uh, Baza's Paladin is level 3, and that's fantastic. At least we have a level 3 Paladin out, out in play, not to mention the level 4 Mountain King and level 3 Archmage. So this is rather good. Um, I don't know what he just took down. Probably the Lich. Lich just fell at level 2. Um, taking down unit after unit at this point. Uh, fiends. Anything that we can possibly take down. Nice surround on that. Uh, so we, we force a teleportation. And it looks like we're going to force Red back at this point. Uh... Still coming out with more breakers, more riflemen, you know, the, the key units that we need for some sort of DPS and some sort of barrier between uh, New Caven <laughs> and, um, and, you know, being safe. Alright. Not sure what the one sorceress was for. Uh, with all these breakers, you're just going to give it back to them, you know? Uh, destroyers obviously do a lot of damage. We do have a lot of casters on the field. Uh, generally, human doesn't go too heavy on casters against undead, or even against other humans for that matter, because you got breakers. So casters isn't really the best compilation. That's why we're trying to be heavier on, uh, you know, breakers and and things of that nature. So I am shoving a lot of militia down, probably towards um, towards the expansion. Try to get an expansion going. Um, I'm going to try to take down some units. Focusing down that Paladin, knowing that that's the, the main hero that needs to be focused down. And vulnerability going off on the Death Knight and the Paladin. Uh, Death Knight definitely had to back off. Could get a bolt on the Crypt Lord. Crypt Lord has bolt done on him in a Holy Light. Of course he goes down. And it looks like I'm up here on the north trying to take down Red's units. Um, and it looks like Red was caught off way down here, forcing the TP from Baza. But I have a, a huge unit count right now that pretty much neither player wants to attack me head on. Uh, I should have a teleportation or else I wouldn't be doing this right now. I'm trying to get in this base and do some damage. I'm not trying to necessarily focus down any spell breakers but if I can I can ally telling me to get back clearly noticing that there's gonna be a huge um, you know attack coming through manages to escape and diverting both of their attentions um, now my ally should be backing off a little bit um, we'll meet up the whole nine we just need a teleport and we have a teleport I have staff and a greater healing just in case if I need it. And not to mention, during that little bit of scuffle, of course, I'm starting up my expansion. 
um, and now we're all caught up and met together. Uh, a couple knights on the field, and that's obviously clearly what you want to see. Um, and now this this looks like there's gonna be an engagement right here. Everyone's in position, uh, healing up those that knight, making sure that knight doesn't die. Uh, but that knight barely sticking alive. Takes down the Crypt Lord. It looks like we, we're not really losing much. I just lost my Paladin. I think it was just trying to keep units alive and having to be in weird positions just to heal, kept them up front. Uh, enemies, Mountain King, rather low in hit points, goes down. Uh, Archmage level 4 at this point. Forced the teleportation from Red. Very powerful stuff right here. That Death Knight does go down with the Holy Light. At this point, you can probably get your bets and say uh, who's going to win. I wouldn't say they did anything necessarily wrong. It's just uh, we held ground at the right spots. We had better position in right spots. Uh, perhaps even better micro. Um, we definitely had better micro, keeping units alive. And uh, dual paladin second is always a great thing. That uh, that you know, the only thing undead really has going for it is un is focus and uh, and you know noobin out on the coils and the frost nova and all that junk. And paladin basically negates all of that. You know, you throw a coil uh, frost nova and you know throw all your units on that archmage. This heal from my my level one paladin and the level two heal from this paladin will easily make it like it never even happened. So that's why I always love going paladin second. Uh, at this point, uh, we're just waiting for that undead army to get here, and then we can have an, that final engagement. Dark Ranger was a smart play. I know, thought it was my ally, but I guess it was me. I'm trying to focus down my Paladin. I'm not sure why. Paladin's a little bit tanky uh, for the most part, especially with the healer, uh, priest healing him up. Looks like Undead is finally thinking about joining in in this engagement but how is he going to do it because I'm, I'm just going to terrorize red and there's not really much red can do against me um, unless he gets that blizzard going and then orange is down here with a few units backed off now that I have a few knights in play it's going to be much harder for the enemy to do anything. Uh, ally, bizarre, he's just gonna hero focus you. Um, GG's been put up for Elohim. Um, failing effort. Uh, another GG out in play. Trail MC finally quit. Calls it quits. Uh, Baza, player of the game, just, just heavy on the nukage. Um, you know, going Mountain King and Paladin is clearly a strong option, um, especially against Undead. That basically says, your Death Knight gets a little bit ahead, boom, dead. <laughs> boom. You get that bolt and that holy light, and then reality hits in. You're like, I have half a second to get the fuck out of here, or else I'm dead. And chances are, you're probably already dead. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this 2 vs. 2 custom game. Uh... And I will see you guys later.